Prince Harry is happy in the US. Guys, let's get this straight. All this news about he's struggling, it's unfounded, it's a lie. People need to stop it. He has no interest in going back. We have said it repeatedly. Every time he's been asked, the answer is always no. Prince Harry is very happy with his life in the U.S. He's living his best life. As a matter of fact, it seems like William is the one who is very unhappy and struggling with his life in the U.K. because he wish he had Harry's life. I mean, recent reports have shown that he's, he now feels like he's a new spare. <laughs> he's now changed. The rose has um, reversed, right? Where he's now the one feeling like the spare because we know Harry was the person that was really the the gist or the drive or the interest with the royal family it was never William. William is boring as you know what. So let's stop this foolish conversation about Harry struggling in the U.S. That's a lie. Whoever is saying it, not making much sense. So reports have emerged suggesting, reports have emerged suggesting that Prince Harry is struggling with his new life in the U.S., allegedly missing his family and finding it hard to cope with the distance from the U.K., these claims were made by Harry's former army training partner, Dean Scott, who cited the difficulty of being far from his family, especially in light of King Charles's health issue. However, these assertions appear to contradict the public persona and statement being made by Prince Harry about his current life in America. And I was watching this episode with Dean. Dean never said anything like this he was just saying that you know boy his only hope is for them to the family to reconcile and come back together he never said that harry was struggling he said he doesn't know much and whoever wrote this article they're lying on dean because at no point did dean say that harry was struggling and even the fact where william was awarded he was just saying well harry is no longer in the family and william is there i mean if William never had any knowledge of, you know, the army, then he would have said it was totally unfair. But that's not even an issue where Harry is concerned. Harry is not making it an issue. So that's what Dean was really talking about. And a lot of time when Harry's friend come on and make certain comments, not being critical of Harry or anything, the media spin it and spun it and turn it around to make it look more salacious than it really is. Because I watched that episode and Dean did not say anything to that um, effect. Dean Scott, who met Prince Harry during their boot camp days and served alongside him in Afghanistan, claimed in an interview with Australia 9 News that the Duke of Sussex is finding it difficult to be away from his family. Scott mentioned that Harry made quick trips to the UK upon learning about his father's cancer diagnosis, indicating a sense of urgency and concern. Scott suggested that the physical distance is taking an emotional toll on Harry and expressed hope for a resolution of of familial tension before it's too late and i'm going to find that um video with with scott for you to hear exactly what he said and none of this is making sense none of this is what he said but i'm going to let you listen to what he said so at least you're aware of your by yourself to see that the media love to spin and they love to tell lies However, it's important to scrutinize the, these claims against the backdrop of Harry's own words and actions. Since moving to the UK, Harry has consistently emphasized the happiness and peace he has found with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their children. He has spoken about the positive aspects of his new life including the freedom from the intense scrutiny that comes with being a member, a senior member of the royal family. Prince Harry has publicly shared that the move to California has allowed him and his family a more balanced and fulfilling life. 
he has spoken about the joy of raising his children, uh, his children away from the constant media frenzy and has often highlighted the supportive community they have found in the U.S. Harry's involvement in various professional ventures, including his work with mental health initiatives, his partnership with Netflix and uh, different media houses, we know Travelers, we know One Young World, and the establishment of Archwell suggests a proactive and engaged approach to his new life. These endeavors reflect a man who is not struggling, but rather thriving and finding new purpose. The Sussexes have often shared glimpses of their family life, depicting a family and united, depicting a happy and united family. The decision to step back from royal duties was partly to ensure a healthier environment for their children, something Harry has repeatedly um, stated he does not regret. While it's plausible that Prince Harry, like anyone, might experience moments of longing for his family, this does not necessarily equate to struggling with his overall life in the U.S. The reality of having family members in different parts of the world can be challenging, especially during health crises. However, it is equally possible for Harry to be content with his decision to relocate while still feeling the natural concern for his family's well-being. His family, his father and brother, because his family is now Megan and the children. And Harry has made that abundantly clear. Every time they talk about family, Harry said, I have my own family. I have my family. My family is my beautiful wife and my beautiful kids, Megan. Archie and Lilibet. So when people are going to talk about family, they must remember that Harry has his own family, right? Dean Scott's comment provide an interesting perspective, but should be balanced against the broader context of Prince Harry's expressed happiness and professional um, satisfaction in the U.S., Harry's proactive steps in building a new life for his family, coupled with his own statements about his contentment, suggests that he is not struggling, but is navigating the complexities of his unique situation with resilience and determination. So, guys, this is what I'm talking about. The UK media love to spin things. UK, Australia, US, they always want to spin things out of control and especially when nothing goes like that. This is just what we're talking about. They need to stop doing what they're doing because it's coming off as just repetitive and stale and just mundane and just does not make sense because we can see that Harry is totally in love with Megan. There's no way Harry would want to come back. There's no way he has expressed wanting to go back of course he always say he loves his family he loves his father he loves his brother but he wants a family not the firm and since charles and william decide for it to be more of a business relationship then they are at an impasse and harry will love them from afar and that is just how life has to be. Sometimes you have to love your family member from afar. Let them be them. You be you. And you move on in love. And you move on in peace. But at no point has Harry ever made, made mention that he wants to go back. I think Harry is very contented with his life. I don't think he's happy with the state of the, the situation. He wish he was living his best life and still be okay with his brother and, and family. But because of the nastiness that happened between them leaking to the media houses and letting Megan take the brunt of it, then at some point, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So Harry is quite fine, guys. No need to worry. No cry for Harry. Harry is not Ari is not bothered by all of this. He's very happy with his life. So, guys, that's what I wanted to bring you. Just always the misinformation, disinformation, lies, lies upon lies upon lies. So, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.